Hi, my name is Greg Nix. I'm going to be doing a tutorial project for the Other Mill machine that runs on the Phantom Tools program. First, open up the program, and you will want to select your file from Open Files on the right side. We'll be using the CCC black and white circle. You'll want to set it to not be a cutout and only be an engraving. Change the scale of your piece to match whatever size of material you'll be using. For our, this, we're going to be using a piece of acrylic that is about 95 by 50. And it's never a bad idea to be under so you don't go over the edges of your piece of material. That way everything fits inside. Uh, the thickness will be about five. So we'll go five just to be safe. You don't want to be too high on your thickness otherwise the bit will try to dig in too deep and you could either break the bit or cause it to melt the material which both aren't very good options. You will want to have the placement set to the left of the uh, origin bracket. Open up the machine. Apply some double-sided sticky tape. Usually two or three pieces. against the bottom bar and all the way to the left, and then just stick it down. Make sure it doesn't want to move. Put the front plate back on. Check your tool bit for whatever bit you're using. We are going to be using the 1 32nd flat end mill. Flat end mills are a lot better for sharper edges. Uh, ball end mills will give you better rounded edges. But if you want to change the bit, you click change in the top right, select your tool bit, like I said, 1 32nd flat end mill, hit continue, locate tool, it'll automatically adjust the height of the tool bit and the leveling to make sure that it's in the correct placement and it knows where the tool is. And now that's that done, we want to resize the image to fit within the scope of the shown material. So we'll go with about 30% just to see what it looks like. And we'll actually up that by 5%. Should give us a decent size. Move it away from the bottom edge, but not extremely far, just because it's easier to tell where the bottom edge of the material is, not the top edge. Unless you have your material measured perfectly and you have everything in perfectly, but if you're using with close approximation, it's easier to go off of the bottom edge than the top. So we'll go with X5 and we will change the Y to be five as well. Oh, that's a little too far. So let's go two, let's see what that looks like. Looks a little bit better. And then we'll actually change the X to be farther towards the middle. So we'll actually go seven. The X is gonna move it left and right. The Y is going to move it back and forth. The Z will make it so it comes vertical off the build plate. And then you want to set your engraving, your engraving depth. When I was doing this, the best results I came out with, so it wasn't too deep and it didn't melt the material, was about 10, or 0.1 millimeters. Um, on the desktop of the computer, I also have a 
image of all of the settings that were used for fairly good results. And that would be a very good place to start for anybody that doesn't exactly know, but anywhere from about 0.1 millimeters to 0.2 millimeters works fairly well. So we're going to go 0.15. Uh, make sure your milling tools are set right. And click the machine to let it have everything ready. And in the bottom right, you will want to hit start milling. As soon as you hit start milling, make sure to keep an eye on the machine itself. If there's anything you see that doesn't seem like it's going correct, or it's off, if the tape lets loose, or if the bit starts to accumulate too much material on it, stop the machine. Either hit the stop button that'll be here in the preview window on the bottom, or the emergency stop on the right side of the machine, which is the big red button. But we're going to hit start. It's going to prompt you, start milling. And then the stop button is, again, right here. You can also click the pause button if you just want to stop it real quick. Just, just check it out and make sure it's going correctly. Oh, and, just... and there's a prime example. It went too deep. So, you're going to want to change the bit. The bit broke. Yes, it did break. So on the top of the machine, there are tools to remove the bit. One is smaller than the other. The one that is smaller goes on the shaft, and the one that is bigger goes on the bolt. And then it's double-seated, so you're going to want to go all the way down. It'll stop, and then it'll go past that. Up there. Right. And there's a real aggressive one. Yeah, let's go with the aggressive one. Uh, so we're going to switch to a more aggressive bit, which means it's bigger, it's a little bit thicker, so it won't be as easy to break. And I would recommend starting with aggressive bits for anybody just starting out, just so you don't accidentally break a bit 